In this video, I'm going to show you how you create a Luma Fade transition using Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I already have two different clip right here. So the first thing you need to do is just drag your first clip to the second video track just like that. So it's purely on you how much frame transition you actually need. In my case, 30 or 40 keyframe transition is really good. So for that, I just move my playhead at the end of my first clip called shift and left arrow key for the sixth time. Here we have 30 keyframes right here. So we need to make a cut right here. So for that, I just press Ctrl K and here we have 30 frame clip right here. And now we need to go to effects and search gradient wipe. And under transition, we have gradient wipe. Just drag and drop it to your 30 second clip. And now just go to effects control. And here we have some basic settings. All you need to do is create a new keyframe and move it at the very beginning. Now make another keyframe and change its value to 100 and move this keyframe at the end of your clip like that and you can change the softness according to your requirements but in my case 30 will be really good and it's really good for me and there we go our transition is just ready so just drag your second clip under your first clip right there and there we go yeah, it's working really great. As you can see, our transition is just like dark to bright because our darker part, it just disappear first and then our brighter part, it just gone. You can also make it opposite to make it brighter to dark. For that, you only need to do and just check this inward gradient. So for now, your brighter part will be gone first, then your darker part. So in this way, you can make it brighter to dark. If you want to make it darker to bright, you can just uncheck this inward gradient and make it darker to brighter and there we go you can also save this transition as a preset for that you just need to go effects control and just select the gradient wipe right click here and go with the save preset you can name anything that you like and hit ok and now let's try out this so i'm just remove attribute go to effects and here we have a luma fade that we are actually saved so just drag and drop it to your clip and there you go yeah, that's working really good. So in this way, you can create your own Luma Fade transition preset and use it later whenever you want. So here we are right inside of Wondershare Filmora. Now let's see how we can get a Luma Fade transition using Filmora. All you need to do is go to transition and search color distance. And here we have a color distance transition right here. Just drag and drop it between your clip like that and there we go yeah it's working really good but it's a little bit slower so i want to decrease the duration for that i just double click on this transition and here we have a duration option you can change its duration to whatever you want and just hit ok and there you go yeah, it's working really good. So here we have many other transitions. You can check it out if you really want to. So overall, Filmora is a really good option for you if you are a beginner or you just start up your video editing career. They are giving some really good feature that you can use and save you a lot of time. They are giving stock media option. It means you don't need to go to website to get a stock media. You can come here directly and download anything that you want. They are giving audio, titles, transitions, effects, stickers and pre-made templates. It means you can get all of these resources using Filmora. I mentioned the Filmora link in the description below. You can try your Filmora for free. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you have any question about this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.